This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Well, hello everyone and thank you for joining us for the fall season of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz 2015. I'm your host, Nancy Moeller. We're thrilled you can join us because we have a great year lined up for you. We have 16 teams who are facing off for the championship and you're going to see four of the very first coming up tonight. We have joining us Van Wert and Minster and a little bit later Bluffton will take on Salina. I know you're here to see and you're watching for these students so we're going to introduce you to them right now. Joining us from Van Wert High School we have Rachel Davis, Rick Eberly, Zen Collins, and Chris Craner. Van Wert is coached by Anita Zuber. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Minster High School. Joining us is Aaron Hewer, Lawrence Hernandez, Haley Oldegas, and Carly Watkins. And Minster is coached by Lisa Schemmel. Welcome to all of you as well. Well, these are the first two teams, so I think the uh, nerves are a little high right now, so we just want you all to relax and enjoy this experience, okay? I know some of you are joining us again after a couple of years being on set with us, so remember just to take a deep breath, speak loudly and clearly, and when you buzz in, make sure your answers are as complete as possible, okay? We are lucky enough to have Judge Mark Dickman joining us back with us as our judge. He is not a judge. He's actually a teacher, but we're very happy. Uh, happy to see him again this year. All right, this first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece and they are all up for grabs, so get the buzzers ready. All right, here we go. What is the most famous movement of the oratorio Messiah? Van Wert. The Hallelujah Chorus. Hallelujah Chorus is the correct answer. Question number two. Which English explorer is credited with introducing tobacco to the Americas? Van Wert. Rolf. Rolf is incorrect. We can turn it over to Minster. All right, time is up. The answer is Sir Walter Raleigh. All right, number three. Name the country in which there was a severe potato famine. Yes, Van Wert. Ireland. Ireland is the correct <coughs> answer. All right, moving on to number four. The musical play Evita is based on what Argentine political figure? All right, time is up, teams. The answer is Eva Perón. All right, number five. Name Australia's chief port and main cultural center. Van Wert. Sydney. Sydney is the answer. All right, question number six. What states are at each end of the Mississippi River? I think you buzzed in before. Okay, what is the answer there? Uh, Minnesota and Louisiana. You are correct, Minnesota and Louisiana. All right, question number seven. Identify the technique for producing rain by dropping chemicals into clouds. Van Wert. Cloud seeding. Cloud seeding is the answer there. All right, three questions remain in your first round. The largest tower in Chicago has been renamed to what? Van Wert. Willis Tower. Willis Tower is the answer there. Virginia's Monticello was owned and built Van Wert. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is correct. And your final question in round one. What political leader ran against Abraham Lincoln twice, winning one and losing one? All right, time is up, teams. The answer is Stephen A. Douglas. All right, we have come to the end of round one between Van Wert and Minster. Here is our score. Van Wert with 70 points. Minster, you got to get on the board in this next round, but we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by 
the Union Bank Company, committed to you. By the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. And by QB Hamburgers, a taste of Lima since 1928. All right, welcome back everyone. We are right in the middle of our very first game of the season between Van Wert and Minster High Schools. And right now, here's our score. Minster, you have no points as of this point. And Van Wert, you have 70, which means you will lead this next round with five questions worth five points apiece. Is everybody ready? Okay. What state did 19th century Henry Clay represent in the House and Senate? Yes. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is incorrect. The answer is Kentucky. Just All right, number two. During whose presidency did the Lewis and Clark expedition take place? Yes. Jefferson. I'm sorry? Jefferson. Could you expand the name? Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson <laughs> is correct. All right, number three. A constant nonviolent hostility is known as what kind of war? Yes. Cold. Cold War is correct. Number four, in which European city did the Medici family reside? Florence. Yes, you want to try? Florence. We will take it. Florence, Italy is the answer. And yes. your final question in round two. What river flows past the Parliament and the Tower of London? Yes. The Thames. The Thames River is correct. All right, very good. Turning now to Minster for your five questions. Name the internal friction of a fluid produced by movement of its molecules. Yes. Viscosity. Viscosity is the answer, and you're on the board. All right, very good. What separates the mouth from the nasal cavity? Answer the answer here is palate. Identify the very light rock formed when air is mixed with magma. Yes. Pumice. Pumice is the answer. Very good. All right, two questions remain. What is a painting on wet plaster? The answer is fresco. And your final question in round two. To the Nazis, this H word was the final solution to the Jewish problem. Oh, you're going to know this one. It was Holocaust. All right, we've come to the end of round two. And here's our score, Van Wert with 90 points. And Minster, you have 10. We have 10 questions in this final round. We're 10 points apiece. And again, they're all up for grabs, so get the buzzers ready. And please make your answers as complete as possible. All right, on which Japanese city did the US drop the first? Yes, Van Wert. Hiroshima. Hiroshima is correct. What U.S. president said the business of America is business in the 1920s? Van Wert. Warren G. Harding. That is incorrect. So, Minister, you've got a chance to answer this one. Yes. FDR. FDR is also incorrect. Kelvin Coolidge is the answer we're looking for here. All right, number three, self-incrimination is prohibited by which constitutional? Yes, Van Wert. The Fifth Amendment. Fifth <laughs> Amendment is the answer. All right, moving on to number four. What phrase means a natural catastrophe? Yes, that'd be Van Wert. Natural disaster. That is incorrect. So, Minster, you can try it. K 
catastrophe? That's, That's also incorrect. We're looking for act of God. That is the answer. All right, number five, animals without backbones are identified. Van Wert? Invertebrates. Invertebrates is the answer there. Okay, number six. What is a general decrease in prices related to a decline? Yes, Van Wert. Deflation. Deflation is correct. In which Italian city is a dramatic leaning tower? Van Wert. Pisa. Pisa is the answer. What political birds advocate an aggressive foreign policy? Van Wert? Warhawks. We will take it. Hawks is the answer there. You have ten question, or two questions remaining in your final round. Freetown is the capital of what republic in Western Africa? Yes, Van Wert. Congo. Congo is incorrect. The answer is Sierra Leone. All right, our final question in this game between Minster and Van Wert. What American author wrote Black Boy and Native Son? Yes, that would be Van Wert. Richard Wright. Richard Wright is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Minster and Van Wert, and here is our score. Minster, you had 10 points. Van Wert with a whopping 160. So congratulations, you will be moving on in competition. Minster, thank you much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us this year. And we will be back to see Bluffton take on Salina right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by The Union Bank Company, committed to you. By the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of a knock-your-socks-off deal. And by QP Hamburgers, a taste of Lima since 1928. start of the 2015 fall season. We just saw a game between Van Wert and Minster. The score a little lopsided. We had Minster with just 10 points and Van Wert with 160. So they will be moving on in competition and right now we have Bluffton taking on Salina. We're going to introduce you to the players right now joining us from Bluffton. We have Derek Schwartzlander, Zane Myers, Alton Burkholder, and Katie Scott. And Bluffton is coached by John George. All right, turning now to Salina. We have Matt Rabel, Chris Nelson, Devin Shimizu, and Marshall Carter. And Salina is coached by Hal Hoover. All right, welcome to all of you. I know your nerves may be a little shaky right now, but just take a deep breath. Please speak, speak loudly and clearly. Get those buzzers ready because the first round, 10 questions were 10, 10 points apiece are all up for grabs. So everybody ready here? All right, here we go. Question number one. Name the famous escaped slave, abolitionist, and writer of the 19th, yes, that'd be Bluffton. Harriet Tubman. That is incorrect. Salina, do you want me to repeat the question and complete it? Name the famous escaped slave, abolitionist, and writer of the 19th century. Salina. Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass is the correct answer. All right, <clears throat> moving on to number two. Identify the bomb made with a breakable container, flammable liquid, and rag wick. Salina. Molotov cocktail. That is the correct answer. All right, number three. What avenue in Eastside Manhattan is known for its fashionable shops? Yes, Bluffton. 7th Avenue. 7th is incorrect. Solana, you want to try it? The guys with the bow ties. <laughs> the answer is 5th Avenue. All right, number four. Name a type or category of severe mental disorders more serious than a neurosis. Salina. Psychosis. Psychosis is the answer. 
Question five, what holiday is celebrated on the first Monday in September? Labor Day. Salina, Labor Day is correct. Moving on to number six, name the American painter who created abstract painting by dripping paint. Bluffton. Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock is the answer. All right, number seven, identify the color of uniforms associated with the North and South. And yes, that would be Bluffton. Blue and gray. Could you specify which is which? Uh, gray is Union, blue is Confederate. All right, we, I just turned to our judge and he is not going to take that answer, so we're going to turn it over to Celina. Yes. Blue is Union, gray is Confederate. That is the answer we're looking for. All right, question number eight. Prestigious prizes given for excellence in journalism and literature are what? Yes, that'd be Celina. Pulitzers. Pulitzers is is correct. All right. Question number nine. What is legally declared insolvency? Yes, Bluffton. Bankruptcy. Bankruptcy is the answer. And here's your <coughs> final question in round one. What is the second largest stock exchange in the U.S.? Yes, Bluffton. NASDAQ. NASDAQ is correct. All right. Right now, we have Salina with 60 points, Bluffton with 30. That means, Salina, you're going to have the first five questions in this next round. They're worth five points apiece. And please ring in, okay? All right, number one, in physics and chemistry, what is a condition where all parts of a system are at the same temperature? Equilibrium. Yes. E equilibrium. Could you expand your answer? Thermal equilibrium. That's the answer we're looking for. All right, number two. What is the class of scaly vertebrates that reproduce by laying eggs? Yes. Reptile. Reptiles, correct. What is another name for German measles? Mumps. Mumps. Yes. Mumps. Mumps is incorrect. The answer is rubella. All right. Who is the Roman god of doors and gateways? Yes. Janus. Janus is correct. And your final question in round two. In the Greek alphabet, what letters are the beginning and the end? Yes. Alpha and omega. Alpha and omega is correct. All right. Moving over to Bluffton now. In the Bible, who wrote the book of Revelation? John. Yes. John? John is correct. The phrase, beware the Ides of March, comes from which Shakespearean play? Julius Caesar. Yes. Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar is the answer. What is the capital of Turkey? Istanbul. Yes. Istanbul. Istanbul is incorrect. The answer is Ankara. Oh my God. All right, name the state most famous for its cheese. Yes. Wisconsin. Wisconsin is the answer. And your final question in round two. What term describes businesses selling goods directly to individuals? You want to try? Stores. Stores is incorrect. The answer, though, is retail. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two, and here is our score. Bluffton with 45 points. Salina, you have 80. So we will be back to wrap out this game right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you. By the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of a knock your socks off deal. And by QB Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928.
All right, we're moving into round three of our game right now between Salina and Bluffton. Bluffton, you have 45 points, Salina with 80. This is our final round, 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Get the buzzers ready and please speak loudly and clearly and as complete as you can with your answers. All right, number one, what is the evidence in rock of an earlier plant or animal? Salina. Fossil. Fossil is correct. Name the manipulation of molecules in strands of DNA to produce new types of organisms. Yes, Bluffton. Genetic mutating. That is incorrect, so we can turn it over to Salina for your try with that one. Yes. Evolution. That is also incorrect. The answer we're looking for is genetic engineering. Number three, what disease is a deficiency in the ability of the blood to clot? Yes, Bluffton. Anemia. Anemia is incorrect, so Salina, you want to try it? Yes. Hemophilia. Hemophilia is the answer there. All right, number four. Name the angle that is less than 90 degrees. Acute. Yes, Acute. Sir? Acute angle is the answer there. All right, number five. What play by George Bernard Shaw is the musical My Fair Lady based on? Yes, Bluffton. Um, Piece of the P. All right, time is up. We want to turn it over to Salina. You want to try? Yes. Our town. That is incorrect. Bluffton, I know that you're going to say you knew it. It was Pygmalion. Yeah. All right, number six. Name the ruling family of France from the late 16th century until the French Revolution. Bluffton? The Jacobins. That answer is incorrect. Salina, you want to try it? All right, the answer here is bourbons. Number seven, identify the armed American civilians who were active in the Revolutionary War. Yes, that'd be Bluffton. Minutemen? Minutemen is the answer. What is a false name often used by criminals? Salina. Alias. Alias is the answer. All right, you have two questions remaining in your game. Name the system that is used to draft young people into the military. Salina. Selective service. Selective service is correct. And your final question in your game. In what novel was Natty Bumpo the central character? All right, time is up. The answer is the Leather Stocking Tales. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Bluffton and Salina. Here's our score. Bluffton, you have 55 points. Salina, 130. So congratulations. You're going to be moving on, and you will take on Van Wert later in the season. And we want to thank you, Bluffton, for joining us again this year. We want to thank you at home. We will see you back next week. Until then, have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye.